Hello and welcome, it's Leon Street here from businessownerelevation.com taking you inside the deep, dark depths of direct response marketing, and more importantly, how you business owners can take your business to the next level. Now, I've got one specific topic I wanna to cover in today's training, and it's actually something that a lot of our customers, a lot of our community reach out to us and ask about, and it is, in particular, how to create a USP, a unique selling proposition. Now, what I'm gonna do is break this down in around about 10 minutes so you guys get a clear understanding of what a USP is and how it can help you in your business when it comes to your marketing. So whether you're doing direct response marketing, you're doing direct purchase offers or lead generation offers, this is going to help you move out of that kind of sea of sameness with everybody else and especially when it comes to your competitors and really standing out and that's the whole point of a unique selling proposition you know when you come across businesses and they say yeah I'm different to you know those down the road or those up the street and actually they're just the same because they don't say anything different other than I can do this for you I can do that for you you've heard it before you know an accountant or a solicitor or a lawyer and actually all they say is the same as what you've heard other people say especially if you're doing networking business networking and here's the thing if you're marketing online you need your message to stand out and if you're saying the same thing online well what happens is you end up with wasted effort and time and money with your marketing that you do online as well as well as offline so let's get into it guys so how to create a unique selling proposition well the way that you start with a unique selling proposition is you need to understand what are the features of your product or service because ultimately that's what a unique selling proposition comes from now there are a lot of top companies out there who've got unique selling propositions and the unique selling proposition is probably one of the key ways <clears throat> that these businesses stand out from other people. I've got my trusty notes here. So what I'm gonna do is pull up a couple of examples and, and one of them that I wanna get into is uh, Domino's Pizza. Now Domino's, one of their, or, or actually their USB that they had previously was you can get fresh hot pizza to your door in 30 minutes or less or the pizza was free yeah so that was a unique selling proposition and it was ultimately which i'll get to off the back of a feature it became a benefit to the person because the benefit would be you knew that within 30 minutes let's say you wanted to have dinner in at a specific time well if you ordered at the right time you were getting fresh hot pizza to your door within 30 minutes and i suppose for a lot of people generally when you're having pizza you're probably having either your, yourself or you're going to have guests at your home now i'm trying to look through this journal right here so i can find the exact thing that i want to go over here we are so one of the other things about a unique selling proposition is, is that it can be based off a of color, it can be based off size, it can be based off scent, something you smell, celebrity, location, many different things. And you can see with Domino's what they did was pretty much it was off of, I would call it probably more a feature because it was 30 minutes or less to your doorstep fresh hot pizza. So anyway. How did they get to this USP? Well, let me help you break that down. Now, one of the first ways, let's get this out of the way, is that you've got to look at the features of your product. Now, whether you do consulting, coaching, you provide you know, a, a digital product, a physical product, it really doesn't matter. You've just got to look at what is the USP of that product or service. So to make things easy, let's look at a pair of black shoes. Let's take a pair of black shoes and because I'm a size 10 UK, so if anybody wants to send me some shoes, you know my size. But anyway, let's, let's take a pair of size 10 black shoes. So we've first of all got the color. So I'm gonna put this a bit small here, but I'm gonna put black. Then we've got the, I'm gonna put here material. So we've got leather. Um, we've got the size, which is 10 UK for everybody watching. Um, and then what have we got? We've got the, I'll say the heel. So I'm just gonna put here a replaceable. I'm just gonna put replace for now. Because sometimes with black leather shoes, you can get rubber heels that are non-replaceable. So it doesn't really give you the opportunity to extend the life of your shoe if you do wear the heel down. 
you know, not that much shoe connoisseur or anything. I'm just letting you guys know. But anyway, so now we're taking this black leather size 10 shoe that has a replaceable heel. So, you know, after you wear it a bit, you can get a new heel put onto this shoe. Now these are features, there's probably more features. You might have, um, let's put here. Could be hand stitched. Yep, so there's many different features you can have when it comes to your product or service. Now what you've got to do is get a sheet of paper and as you go down the paper, put the line across, um, sorry, down and then across, list all of your features. And then what you've got to do is list all of the related benefits. Now this is important because ultimately what we're going to get to in a moment and what I'm going to show you is that your USP comes off the back of benefits, yeah? So if the shoe color is black, what is the related benefit? Well, maybe you can wear it to uh, an example, a black tie event. So the benefit of this is you can have this black shoe, black leather shoe, wear it to a black tie event, a ball, charity ball, whatever it is, and look the part rather than turning up in some pink leather shoes. Yeah, so that's one benefit to the person. They're gonna show up in the right attire. So they're gonna look right. People are gonna think, you know, they're dressed well. So that's one, one type of benefit. The other one, uh, material is leather. So it might be here that with leather material as opposed to kind of man-made synthetic, it's more comfortable. So you might hear that it's comfort. Yeah, so it's not a feature, it's, it's a feeling, feeling of comfort, size 10. Well, the benefit of having a size 10 is that it fits perfectly. Again, this could link to comfort. Yeah. Another benefit off the back of a feature, well, we've got here, heel, replaceable. It means your shoe, I'll put here, can last longer. And hand-stitched, well, if, if you do have hand-stitched uh, black leather shoes, this could be, you know, you're making more of a statement and it could be significant. Significant. So what does that mean? Significant means that maybe you're wearing a 500 pounds pair of hand stitched shoes, handmade. You know, you show up to a place and people see these shoes and think, wow, look at those shoes. And then when you tell them hand stitched, you sell the story, makes you feel good, makes them think, wow, you're awesome. You can afford 500 pound pairs of shoes. So anyway, these are benefits. So what you're looking to do ultimately when you've got your list of related benefits is then think of to your customer, to your prospect, the person who's going to buy your service or products, or in this case, these black shoes, what's the main benefit to them? Yeah. So as an example, if you think about this, the black shoes, well, it might be black shoes that you wear for a black tie event. It could just be black shoes you wear for a wedding. It could be black uh, shoes that you wear for a date going out. Um, it really depends on the usage of the person. So you might think, well, actually, black tie event is the kind of person we want to attract. Somebody who's really looking for that kind of high caliber leather shoe, make them look the part. You may find that the person's not really so concerned about comfort, although it is a, a good benefit to have. They may just want the shoe to look really awesome. And if it doesn't feel 100% great, they're probably still willing to wear it just because it looks good and people will think good of them. You've then got fits, you know, because of the, the correct size. Yes, that's going to be a real benefit, getting the right size, because two sizes too small or too big is going to be ridiculous. You've then got the shoe lasts longer in, with a replaceable heel. That's a really cool benefit, but the person, let's say the person's rich, maybe they don't care, they wear the shoes once and that's it. Maybe to somebody else who wants to wear these shoes probably multiple times, maybe they wear them to go to work, that type of thing. They want the shoe to last longer so they get value for money. Then you've got this other one here, significance, hand stitch. Maybe you're looking at somebody who does invest a lot more in you know, their shoes, therefore they've got higher budgets. This might be the type of customer who invests on high value programs or services that you sell. You see where I'm coming from? So what you've got to look at is what's the person's need? Yeah, what is their, their true desire from this shoe? And what you've got to do is identify which is the main one. So let's choose out of all of these, I'm going to choose significant. The person wants to wear a 500 pounds pair of black leather size 10 UK shoes with a replaceable heel, hand stitched, handmade. They want to feel significant no matter what the event. So that becomes the USP.
yeah so this is the main the main benefit of the USP but a USP is not just you saying these shoes are going to make you feel significant it doesn't really stand out it doesn't take you from kind of just you know just a promise of a benefit and that's it yeah what we've got to do is show something more and here it is what you've got to use is something called the USP formula and here it is you have to or you, or you need an enabler plus the benefit which we're already aware of plus a removal of pain and the pain is the thing that is probably you know annoying the person or it may be their need so I'm going to jump back to an example of how we can put this together so in this particular one I've, I've got an example of a USP that I would like to share with you and so you can see how this formula works so the enabler the enabler is the part that allows yeah so it allows the benefit is what we see as something significant and then the pain removal is the pain that the customer is experiencing so what i'm going to do is give you an example and then we're going to map this back trace this back to the black leather shoes so we can come up with something right on the fly this one isn't pre-prepared so as a lead generation coach, I help coaches and consultants and business owners to grow their business. So here's the USP for one of our programs. It's called the Vortex program. So the Vortex program is the only direct response marketing system that allows the enabler coaches and consultants to generate leads on demand, the benefit generate leads on demand without, this is where we're removing pain without marketing frustration being held back by technology that turns leads into prospects and the clients into buyers so as you can see that's a real usp so it incorporates all of these key elements here in the usp formula so let's take it back to the black shoes now this one's really going to test me because this one is on the fly so we could say these are the only hand stitched black leather shoes that allow the wearer to look and feel more significant without looking like everybody else in crap cheap shoes <laughs> so that's the pain they don't want to be looking like everybody else who've not really invested in their shoes so there you have it guys how to create a USP, use it in your products, use it in your services. And you can see it's very straightforward. Just always remember at the beginning, the only, and it should be the only because if it's a unique, that means there's only one. So always start your USP with the only where possible. And then you can branch out and be a bit more clever like Domino's. You know, you can have fresh hot pizza to your door in 30 minutes or less. But what happens is, and this can happen, eventually if you're in a competitive place where everybody else could match similar products or services to you then it will only last so long and generally a usp sometimes is a time dependent statement that you're putting out about your products or services because i'm sure that um domino's pizzas i don't think they actually still use that usp but there are other usps out there in the marketplace by other people that are still going 10 20 30 years on so use it to your advantage put it into your marketing message stand out from the crowd unique selling proposition it's leon street from businessownerelevation.com helping you to take your business to the next level thank you for watching